what it is and then go to python s central install python install the pycharm ide a very cool ide to coding with python yeah and we move to the s central python lollies and screen in order to hack uh, to see the cipher okay the first part is about the branching with if statement i show you how it works and what is e continue with the loop statement we going with for statement here and with for statement we have an ex example to find out how many odd number how many even number inside a list okay and next is the string string is in very important uh, in order to create a code to hack see the cipher how to how to calculate length of the string check if a string inside uh, another string find out the index of character inside and access the character with index and we continue with function how to group a collection of statements inside a function and create a logical function which shown some kind of task okay that is we finish the essence of python and then we will move to encrypt encrypt the message with C the cipher okay we have input a text in English and we use C the cipher C the cipher rule and have have brand new text and nobody can understand okay now and then we continue with decrypt C the cipher from the encrypted message okay or in the Python finally and interestingly is how we hacking the C the cipher with brute force attack so that is hope you enjoy and see you in my course hello guy in this lecture, I will show you how to install Python with Anaconda. Okay. Now, first of all, you open the Chrome browser and typing in Anaconda.org. Anaconda is a site which uh, distribute Python with the many packages include. So it's it's kind of already test and running so it's high quality Python okay click to download Eleconda here okay I am on window and we will use Python 3.6 so choosing 64 bit installer here click to download it no and it is take a while because uh, you see here the installer is about more than 400 megabyte okay now uh, you already have the anaconda downloaded and, uh, you just double click to install it just use the default setting here okay I already installed and to check if we have Anaconda, you just open the command prompt typing in Python see here Python 3.6.0 and Anaconda 4.3.1 64-bit that is see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture I will show you how to install pcharm a very cool IDE for coding Python okay now open the Chrome browser and you typing in PyCharm download okay click to the first link here 
and we will use a community versions click here to download yes it will take a while to download okay after download just double click to install and we just use the default selection here okay yes i want a desktop shortcut next next okay it's complete install and i want to try to start PyCharm right now click here and finish okay pretty cool right the first screen is you choose a theme so i just use defaulting okay create a new project for example i call it test and you can see here by cham knowing i already installed anaconda 3 so it's select python inside anaconda for interpreter okay now click clear okay uh, it will take a while to be charm indexing on an library inside anaconda so now i create a test dot p file and just print out the hello world try to run this from the p charm i click to run run here run the test okay you can see from the console log the hello world output that is see you in the next lecture hi there in the lecture i will introduce with you if statement okay now we want to create a new project to demo this so file new project so in this uh, course we do hack see the cipher so i put the name here create open in new window okay okay i got a new python file and call if if demo okay okay now to write the if statement you start with if keyword and then a boolean expression boolean expression is something which uh, return true or false for example three larger than four will return four and three smaller than four will return true like that okay so at the end of boolean's expression will be a semicolon this one is required okay now you enter and you see that pycharm already do indent for us so we start the command command here some command command and the way if doing is if boolean's expression here return true the command or block of command will be executed right and if boolean expression return for is not executed that is that's simple 
okay now i want to demo with you for example we want to check a number is even or odd okay from the math we know that when the number divide by true and we get the remainder if the remainder equal to zero it means number is even otherwise it is odd okay now let's do it for example we have number is four and we get remainder remainder equal to number percent in python is operator to get the remainder of division right division to true and we get remainder now if remainder equal to zero this one is a boolean expression okay and if it's true we print now number is even else we print else mean remainder different with zero so number is odd that is so let's try to run 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 okay you can see the print now is print now here four is even number is correct right because uh, the remainder equal to zero here and we try with another number go to five now let's try to run it run run it five is odd because the remainder are different remainder different with zero so that is it is why the if statement doing okay let's recap if the boolean statement here true is true it's execute the block of command right below the if and in this case the boolean statement here written for is execute the command or block of command below else that is so see you the next lecture hello in this lecture i will show you the for loop we use for loop whenever we want to loop uh, a number of time a block or statement okay now let's create a new file here new python file for demo okay to write the for loop we go with for keyword and then a variable and in keyword after in is a sequence a sequence in python uh, it could be or list or string or tube or dictionary okay and then after that is the block of comma right that is now let's do real code i prepare a example here so 
what we will do we will count the number of even and number of odd inside a list okay and we print out how how many number of even and how many number of odd so this let's do that okay now first of all i need a list so as an input so numbers and for simple just get from one to nine okay now odd number odd number that initiate with zero and even number okay now we go with four four x in number colon and for uh, each each loop the x will be one number inside list so x will go from one to nine so let's try to print out the x and you can see how it work okay print x run this run run you see the x is step by step and receive the number from one to nine so to check if a number is even or odd we get the remainder remainder of the division between x and two percent here is the operator to get the remainder of division okay now if remainder equal to zero mean the x is even number so i increase the counter here even number plus one okay else odd number increase plus one that is now try to print out the number of even okay even number here and print out number of odd okay now odd number that is let's try to run this run run You see, the number of even is 4 and number of odd is 5. So, that is. so see you in the next lecture. Hi there. In this lecture, I will show you about string. Because uh, the main focus of us is about hacking the Caesar cipher. It means working with text. So, the function from string is very important and right here I will show you the essential function in order to hacking the cipher okay now let's do it let's create a new file here new python file called string demo okay Here is thing we will do with string and now I will go step by step. Okay. 
to get a new string you just for example string one equal to hello world so that is now i can print the string one try to run it run string okay you see it's print now hello world here the second function i introduce is about the calculate the length of the string so we have a global function called length length and this function not only can calculate the length of a string it can calculate the length of any sequence like list or dictionary so try our string first string one i can print it out so you can see okay let's run it now let's run it run string demo yeah you can see the length length now is 11 here right so third function i'm talking about is checking a, a substring is inside a string or not okay for example we check that hello your substring in hello world so this function will return a true or false result this is logical function okay now let's print out the result of this function sorry so it should be true right run string demo yeah you can see here the true value The next one will be the file, the position of a character inside a string. For example, I want to find the first existence of E character here inside the hello world. So what I do is I call string one, file function. Okay, for example, I want to find the E position of E character here inside string hello world. So I can do now a string one dot five and put in E. Now I print the position now. Okay, let's run it. Run one. So the box, the index here is one. So the one important thing is the string is indexed from zero. The H here is zero and E is, is one. Okay. The revert, uh, I can access the character by the index, which I just find out so for example i want to access the e character here string one i put in like you access a list i put in the index for example one here now i print it out okay run it the e right and finally i want to show you the concatenate the string like we plus one string with one string so for example we print hello plus world and it will produce a hello world string first 
let's run it run string number okay hello world here so that is see you in the next lecture hello in this section i will show you about the function okay in python a function is a sequence of statements which belong together and when they group together is implement kind of logical task okay right here you can see the way we define our functions with is start with define here and function name the parameter we put in semicolon and the statement the function could be returned value or not and that is let's do an example okay in for example here i will create a function and it will return a number of even even number inside a list okay now let's create a new file here it's called function demo okay now what this function do is input a list of number the output number of even okay so that is just a simple to demo now let's define a function define function name called number up even and we put in list number okay semicolon and we use here is for loop right for loop x in list of number and if x we get remainder from x for 2 divide by 2 and equal to 0 okay I need a, a variable to store store the result okay Mm hmm result even number equal to zero now I increase the even number even number plus one that is now I want to return return the result at the end of function even number here okay let's try to call this function we start out a list of number okay let's copy this list from four here mm -hmm. okay now so for example i have uh, this list and i want to print out number up even okay and i just call the function number up even and i put in number i put in this list and call the function from the logic here the function will return the even number of even okay 
let's try to run it run run functions number of even if for that is so function is really simple and we just need to understand about how to define a new function how to put a name with meaning how to put the input value and what is return that is is from a function first so see you in the next lecture hello in this lecture i will show you how to do encrypt with caesar cipher okay so in order to encrypt we have a original message for example i have the message uh, i love uh, programming so after encrypt this message will become something else okay now to encrypt a message with Caesar cipher we we'll need two things the first thing is the alphabet here the alphabet table and the second thing is a key for example a key equal to three okay key equal to three mean we see the original character three times in alphabet table so let's do it Ctrl C Ctrl V now if I see three times it mean A A become D here okay and B become E right now using this kind of mapping I can encrypt the whole message here so let's see what it become okay the message after encrypt I I will become L here okay L and still have a space L will become O O become R V become Y E become H all right and the remaining I just copy from the book I attacked it so the programming will become this string that is it is a way to encrypt a message using Caesar cipher and of course the message the result will be different and uh, when we use different kind of key now want to try with another key try with key equal to 5 right here this mean we zip the original table three ta five times okay one two three four five now a become f and b become g c become h like that okay and with the the character at the end of table here x will become a e will become b and z will become c this is a a full cycle okay
that is so in the next lecture i will show you how to do this automatically with python programming see you hi there in this lecture i will show you how to do encrypt with Caesar cipher automatically using python programming okay now let's create a new file it's called encrypt automatically okay okay so let's start doing some brainstorming here we will need uh, a variable to store and fabi okay need a variable to store original message original message uh -huh. and need a variable to store the key right in order to do encrypt as manually i show you we need alphabet and key and original message so the result we need a variable to store result store result the encrypt message okay so about the algorithm here is about the about the variable now how about the algorithm for every character and fabi and fabi character inside original message we sip we sip uh, key time key times to the right okay we have fan with character not in alphabet we just keep it as it is so that is let's do the code i have a alphabet variable to store alphabet string now let's copy it i don't want to tie 26 character here okay so it's the alphabet and the key the key now for this demo i use three okay the and then the original meshes mm -hmm. for example i love programming uh, and the encrypt the meshes We initiate with blank, okay. 
The first thing I want to do is I want to uppercase on the character inside the original message. So original message equal to re dot upper. This will upper on the message. Okay. I will print now to so we will print the original message. Let's try to run it. Run. Mm -hmm. Encrypt. You see. So when you find the character is we match with Alpha Bay here. Alpha Bay we use on the uppercase four. Mm -hmm. Character in original message okay if we need to check if the character inside alphabet or not because you see we have spy here it's not inside alphabet okay if a character in alphabet what we will do, we will do the origi, original position of the character in alphabet equal to alphabet phi, phi the character. Right? and very similar to the manual encrypt the new position after encrypt will be original position plus with key okay have a special thing here in case which uh, the new position is run, run outside outside of the alphabet uh, you see that the alphabet here is indexed from 0 a, a is indexed with 0 and z is with uh, 25 because we have totally 26 characters so, for example, in this case, Z, I, I will do with Z, will be 25 plus with, will be 25 special case Z with index 25 when plus it with three we become 28 and we do not have any character as a position of 28 and come back to the manual and grip you see that Z will become C here Z will become C this mean we need to to do the minus the new position will be 28 minus to 26 26 is a uh, length of alphabet because we, we we come back to begin come back to beginning whenever it's run out of alphabet so new position of z will be 2 it is 0, 1, 2, it is C. It's correct, right? It means the rule is still valid. We see the three, three positions, but we come back. We come back if we run out of index. Now let's do it with code. For special case, if new 
position larger than len of alpha b minus 1 because index we have only from 0 to 25 right that's the reason we go with minus 1 here the new position win original position plus with key but it need to minus to land of alphabet okay we have a new position and now we view the new character new character this means the character after encrypt go to alphabet new position here okay I want to init the new character with blank with the character not inside alphabet I just keep it as it is new character equal to character that is so we have new character already let's do building the encrypt message encrypted message when equal to encrypted message plus with new character after we do encrypt that is okay now try to print now the encrypted meshes let's try to run it run it same is what we expected right i become let's compare with what we have here in manual table Okay, there is a key here. Just care about key equal to three. I be I become L. I here become L. Yes. O become L. No. L become O. L become O. O become R. O become R. Yes, it's correct. Now I want to test more thing. I want to comment out this original message, original message. I want to test the original message with the full table here to make sure that every character working original message. So let's do it. Can run, run. So you see the alphabet after we decrypt A become D, B become F, and X here become A, Y become B, and Z become C. That is. So see you in the next lecture. Hi there. In this lecture, I will show you how to put everything inside function. We already have the encrypt code here working and what I want to do I want to put in function define the input define the output and yeah we have a better code okay now let's do it let's create a new file here called and grip function okay now just define the function its name should be and grip 
and Carib Caesar cipher okay the input input will be two things right the first thing is about the message you want to encrypt and the key now just copy the code from here paste it here okay alpha b is something that uh, is fine is constant and put here the key is command it out okay because we we transfer the key parameter from outside function so original message uh -huh. i should use a parameter called original meshes okay command it out encrypted meshes okay no i don't need this now at the end of the function what i should i should return the message return the encrypted message okay that is let's try to call this function now i need to key with three original original message equal to i love programming now i want to get the and grip the message when equal to mm -hmm. and grip Caesar cipher puts in original message and key that is right so try to print now and create that message to make sure it work that is let's try to run this code after we put the uh, we create a function called encrypt the encrypt scissor cipher here now run it and grip functions so you see the output here is uh, as we expected that is so see you in the next lecture hi there in this lecture i will show you how to do decrypt with caesar message okay now as you can see here from the previous lecture we do encrypt the process of encrypt is done with the shift of original message, original character to the right three times in case we use key equal to three. So logically, if we want to do decrypt, we just shift the original the encrypted character to the left three character okay okay and so the d will be decrypt as a e become b f become c here now try to decrypt our message here you can just see okay 
L. So first of all, L. L here will become I. I. O will become L. R. R here will become O. Y. Y become V. H. H will become E. That is, and so on. And here, I just show you how to decrypt a uh, Caesar message. Just simple. See you in the next lecture. I will show you in the code. Hello. In this lecture, I will show you how to decrypt the Caesar cipher with Python. Okay. Now let's create a new file here. New Python file. Decrypt automatically okay now copy some code from here and creep okay we still keep the alphabet the key the original message is what we want to find out so encrypted message here Copy it. Okay, the first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that encrypted message is all uppercase. So I do with upper function dot upper. Now for every encrypted character character in encrypted message if encrypted character in alphabet we will find out its position right encrypted character position will be alphabet dot find the encrypted character here okay now the original original character character position oh, sorry character position will be encrypted character position minus key the minus here correspond to action of zip the character to the left okay have a special key special key special keys when the encrypted character position is smaller than key at this time we need to go back to the end of the alphabet by plus with the length of alphabet okay now if original mess original character positions smaller than zero is our index so we need to come back go to back to the and uh, alphabet by original character position original character position plus with length length of alphabet it means 26 okay we we have original character position so right here i need something called original character and i need 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 with balang right here i have the position so i can find out it character 
by access the alphabet with the position original character position here right in this case we have a character that not inside alphabet for example the space here we, we just keep it as it is so else here and original character keep it and grip character okay we have original character now for a very encrypted character this time is the time to build up the original message original message equal to original message plus with original character that is now let's try to print out all thing original message try to run this run run decrypt automatically run it so you see the message here is what we expected so see you in the next lecture hi there in the lecture i will do putting all the code decrypt here into the function so we will have a better code right now let's create a file python file called decrypt function okay copy all the code from automation here to function the input will be the key and so let's create a function definition define decrypt see the cipher input will be decrypt that messages and a key the decrypt here is in case we already know the key okay now I indent none of this one okay the alphabet I keep it the key will be put from outside so command it out the original message okay the encrypted message now here is to be encrypted message it will be put from outside so okay and finally I don't want to print here but I want to return return the original message because this function uh, is function doing the decrypting right now let's try to call this function we have key equal to 3 and we have encrypted message here and now try to print out the function call right decrypt see the cipher functions put in encrypted message and the key that is uh, try to run 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 here the decrypt function you see, you see I love programming that is what is expected that is so see you in the final section about how to hacking the Caesar cipher hello welcome the hacking part 
So in the lecture, I will show you how to hacking a Caesar cipher um, with brute force attack. Okay. Uh, as you can see here in the decrypt functions, the decrypt this script decrypt function need to know a key. But in the real life, when you receive a message is encrypted, you do not know what is the key, <laughs> right? So that is that is problem. And because here we already have a twenty six character uh, from A to Z, so it mean the key we have only twenty five possibility for key from one to twenty five. That is why we can do brute force attack. It means try out with every possibility right with computer is not a problem when we do a looping 25 time right now let's do it new file hack see the cipher okay i want to leverage the decrypt function here copy this function to the hex is a cipher okay now I create a new function call hack see the cipher and I put in what I put in is message and grip that message okay now inside here I try out for all the key we can have for key in ring from 1 to 26 it means we will try the ring function will generate from 1 to 25 right with every key we will print out the original message print out the decrypt see the cipher and grip that message with key that is simple right now let's try to call these functions hack see the cipher and the message we put on message we put on here mm -hmm. message we put on here is the message we use for this demo okay cool try to run it run run Okay, you see, we have 26 possibility, 25 possibility here, and by manually, we can see the result here with key equal to 3. So, that is this way of attack we call brute force attack because the limitation of the possibility. Okay, so thank you and see you. Hello, this is the PDF version of this course. So I write out everything inside this PDF and 
that is is the way the convenience way for you to refer to the text and also have all code here so hope you enjoy it thanks